Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The United Manganese of Kalahari Mine, or UMK, has become a real South African success story after it unveiled its newly built offices and warehouse. This was the last infrastructure required for UMK to become a fully operational mine. Natasha Urdendahl has the story. The 1.2 billion UMK mine, a JV between Russia-based Renova and Manganese Investment and Consortium Majestic Silver Trading, has become the world's third largest producing manganese mine after implementing the last infrastructure earlier this year. The group ramped up ore production from 1.5 million tonnes in 2010 to over 2.7 million tonnes last year, and the company believed that it could ultimately reach 4 million tonnes a year. Chairperson Lazarus Mbete and Renova COO for African Operations, Konstantin Sadovnik, tells us more. I believe our mine is a real Northern Cape success story. Indeed, a South African success story, of which we can be truly proud of. After a 1.2 billion investment, we, have, we are in full production mode. We are producing some of the highest quality manganese, and we are the third largest manganese ore producer in the world. We have the facilities to back up these sales. Primary and secondary crushing systems, conveyors, screening house for screening the ore into different sizes. We also have product stockpiles and stacker reclaimers facilities. UMK Mine is the most positive example of uh, cooperation between Russia and South Africa. That project started uh, from scratch, from ground zero, uh, in partnership with uh, our Black Economic Empowerment Partner, Majestic Silver Trade. And together, united, we have steered the project through all necessary stages of implementation from obtaining all the required permits, uh, conducting geological surveys, uh, feasibility study, ramping up the production, and completing the whole infrastructure that uh, we can see today is working and working absolutely perfectly. Other news making headlines this week, Donnell hopes its 21 billion rand order book will reduce its reliance on state funding. China's economic shift isn't necessarily bad news for all commodities and a 400 million rand environmentally friendly store is opened in Gauteng. State-owned defense industrial group Denel hopes that its 21 billion rand order book for the next six to eight years will enable it to become self-sustainable over the longer term and to avoid further financial dependence on the fiscus. So Denel went through a very difficult period uh, for a number of years. As you are aware of the fact that in the last year, not this last financial year, financial year before that, it posted a small profit. And we, are, we were quite convinced that at that point, if we made the right interventions, we could create a sustainable future for Tenel. And we believe that with the kind of interventions we have made in the last 18 months or so, that we are well on our way to becoming a sustainable business, contributing significantly not only to the defense of this country, which is our primary and core business, but to the general developmental imperatives of South Africa. Okay? New research by Barclays indicates that not all commodities will lose out should China succeed in changing its growth model from one based on resources intensive infrastructure investment towards one supported by higher levels of domestic consumption. Yes, China is changing, but this is going to mean different things for different commodities. And we did a big, big piece of research looking at uh, the, the potential changes in Chinese commodity demand. Um, if we do move to a more consumption-oriented type of uh, growth. Uh, in actual fact, it will be quite positive for some commodities. So, um, yes, it's true that the commodities that are used in heavy uh, industrial infrastructure investment, things like steel, zinc and copper, their intensity of use probably will decline over the next uh, four or five years. Um, but there will be lots of other commodities that do pretty well out of this process. 
South African retailer Massmart opened a 400 million rand environmentally friendly macro store in Elberton in the south of Johannesburg as part of its new generation stores, incorporating technologies such as energy efficient refrigeration and climate control systems to improve the store's overall resource efficiency. First of all, refrigeration, we use that natural refrigerant gas, which is carbon dioxide, unique in the, in, in the industry. Um, we, we reclaim all the condensate water that comes off the, off the air conditioning refrigeration side is reused to make the refrigeration plant more efficient. Uh, we, 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 we've got natural lighting in the, in the, in the store. Uh, our, our store is, uh, this store is the very first store that is 100% LED. All the lights are LED in the whole store. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.